Some Republican candidates running for U.S. Senate say they would not vote for former Missouri Governor Eric Greitens if he wins the August primary. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley has more on filing day in Jefferson City where candidates like Greitens, Eric Schmidt and Vicki Hartzler officially launched their bid for U.S. Senate. Emily, busy time at the Capitol. <laughs> Very busy day indeed, Vic, and that's because candidates that are hoping to be on the November va ballot filed their paperwork today with the Secretary of State's office. One of the biggest races this year, as we've reported on, is who's going to fill retiring Senator Roy Blunt's seat. Some of those contenders for that race took a jab today at former Governor Eric Greitens. Ready. Are you ready? Good morning. You bet. On the day dozens of candidates running for office officially launched their bid. I won't vote for him. It didn't take long for those running for U.S. Senate to take aim at Eric Reitens. I think he's going to have to make that case uh, to Missourians. He, there's a lot of questions that were left unanswered when he left. Greitens telling reporters after filing he has changed. Less than two years into his term as governor, Greitens resigned amid a sex scandal. I think that all of the Missourians have seen now, and we're so grateful that the truth has come to light. Yeah. At the end of the day, you can have a big wave of lies, and that wave of lies can be powerful. Earlier this month, Senator Josh Hawley endorsed Congresswoman Vicki Hartzler, but candidates are now working for the endorsement from former President Donald Trump. He didn't ask me anything. He just told me I was doing a great job and something like that, and that he'd talk to me tomorrow, and sorry he missed me. He called me last night at 9.30. We had a very good conversation. Uh, he was very complimentary. Uh, he said, keep up the good work. He thinks I'm doing very well. Democratic candidates say they're willing to work with Holly if elected. I'm going to work with anyone who wants to raise the minimum wage, who wants to do universal health care, who wants to take, you know, take care of people in this state. It doesn't matter if you've had experience filibustering a bill in the past. What really matters is you've had experience making change with other people who want to see that change happen. While those running for Congress don't know the lines of their district, as the Missouri General Assembly hasn't passed a new map. The state lawmakers have a tough job before them. They'll finish it, they'll pass a map, and we'll know exactly what the boundary lines are, and it needs to be a map that reflects the values of Missouri. So I've been, I mean, when I tell you I have lived north, south, east, you know, almost east and west, you know, I've lived county, I've lived um, city, you know, so I know this community, um, even outside of the borders that I have right now. Now, candidates have until March 29th to file for office. As of this afternoon, more than 20 candidates have filed paperwork to be in the U.S. Senate race. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.